armed robbery, a shooting, and a teenage boy lies critically wounded. But police have enlisted the aid of a secret weapon in their search for the criminals. A closed circuit camera captured the crime in progress. Bill Brown reports. It's a stick up at a gas station. Two men walk in with guns hidden in their pockets, while a third man stays outside as lookout. Someone will be shot. You've seen it a hundred times or more on Hill Street Blues or maybe Miami Vice. Only this time it's different. This time it is real. It's 1.09 in the morning. The young woman is working here alone. After cleaning out the cash register, the gunman orders the clerk to open the safe. She pleads with him. I don't know how. I promise I don't know how. A customer comes inside to pay for gasoline. The robber poses as a clerk and takes his money. But more people enter the store. The gunman gets more and more nervous. Two young men are driving back home to Oklahoma City. They stop to get some gas. One of them, 17-year-old Matt McKay, on the right in the light-colored sweater, walks over to buy a soft drink. The bullet slams through the McKay boy's chest and lodges in his spine. The robber then beats and kicks him. On his way out, the gunman has a final warning for the clerk cowering behind the counter. If you move, I'm gonna blow your brain out. If you look at the film, this is one of the most brutal incidents that I've seen in, in many years now. I have been in the business a long time. These people are very dangerous and need to be re removed from the streets. Dallas police think the three men also shot and killed the mother of an infant during the holdup of the Southern Comfort Motel on Thanksgiving Day. And they're also suspected in at least four other local robberies in which people were shot or beaten. Matt McKay lies in extremely critical condition at Parkland Hospital. The outlook for him is not good. The man who shot him got away with $13. Bill Brown, Carrollton.